Hi again. I want to talk to you today about being too big for your britches. Being too much, too bright, too loud, taking up too much space. Can any of you relate to that particular uh, dilemma? Um, it's something that I've had to contend with most of my life. Um, the feeling that I'm too much or that I'm too loud or I'm too opinionated or too expressive. And, you know, um, what I'm coming to understand is there's no such thing. <laughs> when we bump up against somebody who is not taking their, um, I don't know the word, appropriate amount of space or not using their voice or not living their dreams or not leading the lives they want, um, we're bound to create friction if we are in that space of sharing, expressing, talking, living, um, leading. Uh, you know, there's just bound to be friction there with people that aren't doing it. And so, and that's not to say that I haven't had major, major lessons to learn in this department. I have had to learn how to share the stage, how to give people space to come up with what they want to say, um, to give them time to articulate and to allow, of course, the way they express. That's all been a really important part of my journey. But I'm also saying that it's not about me shrinking and being small so that everyone feels comfortable. There is something so natural in us that wants to express and share and, um, gosh, just commune with each other and um, create. And I happen to be a really expressive communicator and an expressive creator and um, I've always had a hard time navigating that in this world because as a child I was told often to sit down and shut up and to go to my room and it's not all about me and all of that I was told that continuously and and then eventually I did retreat to my room and I retreated inside to a lot of pain um, and a lot of feeling misunderstood and not seen and not heard or not valued for what I had to contribute and then I spent a lot of my later years almost overdoing that, over expressing and over, like, you can't tell me what to do and I'm going to express what I want to express. And I'm going to tell you how I feel exactly how I feel because I have a right to do that. And so the pendulum, you know, which is very often in growth, what happens, the pendulum went too far on the other side. It was like I was shut down in a way. And I'm not even saying that I wasn't supposed to have been shut down. Like there's a, there was a learning process going on. It was all divinely orchestrated through my parents, through my teachers, through church, through all of it was like a perfect design for my own inner development. And that's the same for everyone. And now I'm in this place where the pendulum has really come to the middle and there is a place where I can see what's needed in the moment and how I can best serve. But a lot of times the guidance is to go big and to be bright because that's the light. That's what it does. It's big and it's bright, but it also includes everyone. It makes room for everyone. So there's not this againstness of because I'm so bright and I'm so shiny and I'm so sparkly, you can't be. But if you interpret it that way, then that's your stuff to work through. I'm saying I'm so bright and I'm so magnificent and I'm so wonderful and I have these amazing gifts to share because it's accurate. It's not to take away from you. It's actually, if anything, to encourage you to show up in your fullness and in your shininess and sparkle. And when the world is doing that, wow, this new era, this new age that we're moving into will be born, and it is being born right now through each and every one of us. And I'm so grateful to share the journey with you. I love you. Keep shining on. Bye.